Oracle had earnings. Hey, did they did OCI blow out and did uh, were apps at twenty uh, percent like the last four quarters? Look, the company had a strong result. It uh, it had a beat. It uh, you know it, from a guide standpoint, you know it was where people wanted them to be, and more importantly, uh, you know the company has continued on its trajectory of overall strength against the market. And why do I say that? Well, you know it wasn't like one of these mega blowout, triple digit growth areas in cloud that you know we've seen Oracle have. And Oracle, of course, chasing a little bit, not being the biggest, but being you know. It's arguably gone back trying to be the third, fourth competitor. I think on a size wise for its infrastructure, it's, it is still sitting at fourth. But if you look at the total, you know, aggregation of the business and the cloud, uh, the company also had some really positive news about it's what it's calling the largest AI data center in the world. It's partnering up with NVIDIA. I think that alone gave the stock like a 47% bump. I'm joking, um, but it did get a pretty nice bump when it talked about the AI data centers that it's building out in partnership with NVIDIA. So where did the growth come from? Well, I mean, look, it's overall cloud growth, 25%. Nice mid double digit strength. Uh, and that cloud revenue is over 5 billion in the quarter. So you're talking about 20 billion of run rate uh, on its cloud businesses now. Uh, the infrastructure business, 49% growth. And by the way, people were like, mm, it's not that good. It's like, Gosh. oh, it's better than it. First of all, Kudos to Oracle, as a lot of companies have created more opaqueness in reporting, they actually still are reporting a very crisp infrastructure number with OCI. And that's now about a $1.8 billion business this quarter at a 49% growth, so strong growth, rearing towards 10 billion of IaaS revenue. And then when you actually put all the other parts in, you got the SaaS business for cloud apps, SaaS business for Fusion, SaaS business for NetSuite, um, those are also driving some real strength in the business. All double-digit growth, 14 to 21%, depending on which business you're looking at. And look, this is the future of the company. You got a company with really predictable. Almost three quarters of its revenue is considered predictable, recurring revenue. Its cloud business is growing mid double digits. It's got the sticky product, you know, enterprises run. You know, I always talk about this in SAP. People might sometimes talk about these older core. ERP and core database solutions that companies have to run their businesses and say, oh, everything's going to move off these businesses and into these new born on cloud. It hasn't happened. It's taking a long time. It's very difficult to move and to migrate. It's sticky. It's high margin, high service rate, high attach rate. It's good business. And so, Pat, this was a good, solid continuation of growth um, against what I still consider to be a pretty mixed uh, economy, you know. I don't know if you saw this quietly, Pat, but February, highest tech layoff rate since February of 2009. Wow. So while we're all kind of sitting here languishing in this concept that GDP is up and the market is strong and, and, and inflation is going away, we're laying off people at the highest rate since right after the, the financial crisis of 2008. So it, it's not all great, but the deflationary aspects of tech like cloud, like Oracle are doing well. Good breakdown there. I mean, Thanks. when other SaaS providers are doing 10%, Oracle continues to do 20%. I think that needs to be uh, pointed out there. And it's just so consistent. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's like clockwork, right? You know, we saw with Salesforce, right? Their, their SaaS numbers went from, you know, 2X and 3X to 10X. And I mean, 10X percent, not 10X, like 10X. Uh, and I think that's big. And I, I know that um, probably a, a fairer comparison would be to SAP when we're talking about ERP, but it's still impressive they can keep that going uh, during uh, during this uh, during this economy. You know, uh, OCI and the IS number uh, again impressive. Three years ago they were nowhere, and here we are with giant. One of their biggest customers is Microsoft. Right, we always have to know that that's the big case. Microsoft uh, talked, uh, didn't uh, directly uh, use the word uh, Oracle, but Microsoft uh, is a huge customer of, of Oracle and they're leveraging uh, Oracle's bare metal infrastructure with GPUs to do a lot of their, their generative AI stuff uh, on there. I don't think that takes away from that uh, OCI number. I actually think it, it gives it more credence and and credibility, um, you know, I, there there could be a question that 
you know, if Microsoft amps up their CapEx, where would that, um, where would that put Microsoft as a customer for, for OCI in, in, in the future? So uh, I think it was a good, uh, I would think it was a good fielding.